All right. It's Twisted Metal. This is like a secret soft launch of Twisted Monday that no one knows about, so no one's going to watch it. Secret Twisted Monday. Only for me. But it's going to suck. This is going to be really bad. I need to gold all of these. That one we're saving for last because it's going to be a nightmare. I think I just barely missed the gold on that, too. Pretty sure it is like 15 minutes to get gold. Uh, that one's ridiculously brutal, and obviously you. Okay, this one, this one should be reasonable. So we need every boss fight, these two reasonable levels, and this one incredibly unreasonable level. And then we get Warthog. A thing that I apparently want. You know, it's one of the worst vehicles in the game. And all I need to do to get it is win this electric cage match. Having not played this game in such a long time, since December, I think is the last time I did this to myself. So let's see how it treats me. We'll take a Talon and then another Juggernaut. Honestly, mounted guns are the best gun in the game. And you start with them. The controls in this game are always a little hard to remember because they are the most different from any other Twisted Metal game. Out of the entire franchise. Shut up, Calypso. I'm talking here. Already losing control of myself. One down, despite myself. But now... Juggernaut stuff is happening. And rear fire very, very easily. Which is delightful. Oh, Dark Side ate my shots. And enjoy doing so. Probably grab some health refills. That one's well above me, and I'm never gonna get it. Seems like Dark Side got one of them. Should be one right here. There. Just one HP away from death. Oh, there's another health refill back there, too. For future reference. Why are you throwing cars at me, Junkyard Dog? What did I do? Besides bringing an 18-wheeler to uh, car combat. Tournament. Attacking Reaper is intensely silly, because touching Reaper is a one-hit kill with this vehicle. Now, if we beat this before... We leave the first, um... Ice Skating Rink. We will definitely get a gold medal. Fortunately, Warthog is taunting me with my inability to earn him properly. And apparently my inability to kill him. Twisted Monday is still not officially back, so there was no announcement. No reason to show up today and expect Twisted Metal, but... What the hell? Decided to do it anyway. Okay, 
Okay, I stole a special weapon there. I've never used the um, upgraded shield move in this game, but it exists, and I just used it. Yeah, you can steal special weapons with it, apparently. Good to know. We might make literally no progress at all trying this today because this is a uh, twisted difficulty. And twisted difficulty is intensely unfair. And I'm wildly, wildly out of practice. Do you like the holiday? Better. And some Furies ready to die. There were unfortunately a lot of enemies that were still largely uninjured during that last run, so even getting within the time limit might have been very, very, very difficult. Perhaps unfeasible. Unfeasible at the point I was at. And unfeasible. I additionally, but unrelatedly, would not feast in it. There's a Reaper. Haunting me again. Okay. Reaper should be uh, alive. Reaper should be dead because if you ever touch him, he explodes immediately. He's keeping me from touching him. Some foolish self-preservation instinct. Something was hitting me continuously for a very long time there. Surprised I didn't kill him. There's two of the big ones. I have absolutely no idea what Reaper ended up doing. Possibly dying. Nah, Reaper's fine. This is the part that sucks if you are Juggernaut. Definitely did not want to come in here full speed like I did. Your health is low. As I maintain that momentum. Or find a garage. He's barely moving out of that mess. Guess I'll just stand here and rear fire for a while. Get over here. You're outside the cage. Grace period initiated. The cage has moved to another location. I can drop mines all over the place. Just be a cheap dick. But this game is cheap, so I don't care. Yep. Crimson Fury down. Our law blew up on my minds. Oh god, this part. Someone shoot me with a sniper rifle. I could care less. But being inside the museum is a nightmare for a vehicle this big. Well, they can just go up and down the stairs to avoid me forever. And run out the clock. The cage is about to move. 
We have a long time before the time limit you are outside runs the out. Grace period initiated. At least there's that. Another one down. Barely anything left, but I cannot move. Special weapon has regenerated. We're all just getting by just fine, and the other person just isn't going to show up because why would they? They're under no obligation to do so. Outside the cage, grace period initiated. That might be some uh, subliminal messaging making you think of Christmas music. Game is very much playing Christmas music right now. How did all of my minds go right past them? Sweet Tooth, practically undamaged, but now he's probably close to dead. You will begin taking damage. Yeah, let's open up your weak spot. The cage is about to move. We're outside the cage. Grace period. I don't even know where the hell the cage is. Oh, there it is. Sweet Tooth is Sweet Tooth then. It's flying away. I think it's literally impossible to win the match. And now he's dead. Sweet Tooth destroyed. One enemy remains. Warthog is so close to dead. Already very likely to be well below my last successful completion. There. Come on, gold. As slow as that was. I don't care about the record thing. There we go. Gold probably just barely. I want to say it's seven and a half minutes. One step closer to unlocking Warthog for ourselves. Okay. I think all the remaining events that I haven't golded besides bosses are ones where I have to kill Juggernaut, which is essentially a boss anyway. Just let the music do the talking. What else is there to say about the Juggernaut levels? Although... That's right, with these I'm supposed to start off with... Talon. It's such a pain in the ass to navigate anything with Juggernaut. Yeah, I have described, um... The Anarchy Reigns and Mad World soundtracks as being like Frodo Death Grips. So indeed, it is similar being just that. I don't remember where the Mega Guns are. 
Mega guns are our best way to deal any appreciable damage here. I'm gonna spend this looking for mega guns. And then probably reset because we're too far behind on time. Mega guns on top of this building. Hell yeah. Three shots coming my way. Uh, tie me. I don't get why that's the sign joke they went with. Uh, this is one of the few Twisted Metal games that does sign gags like that. Where you break the sign and it, it turns hilarious. Just the Metal Black has some missed opportunities that I should probably point out next time I play it. Which probably won't be that long from now. There we go. More Mega Guns. Okay. I'm just going to practice using Mega Guns a little bit. Once I'm unfrozen. It takes so long to break out of a freeze in this game. I also need to practice finding Juggernaut. Because the damn thing could be anywhere. Even though it takes up a gigantic amount of space, it can also hide disturbingly well. I would do something about it spawning an enemy if I knew where it was. There it is. Of course, it immediately goes for a free shot. Trying to hit it in the weak spot. So that's how we take out Juggernaut. For future reference, although I need to quit all the way back out to the main menu. Because I didn't start with Talon. And getting to the garage to switch to Talon is going to waste precious, precious time. I can't have that. Probably going to be cutting it close regardless. Oh, it's less than seven and a half minutes. That is weird. So it's somewhere between seven minutes and seven and a half minutes to get a gold medal. Can't imagine what exact number they would have went with. There. Beautiful loadout. That's probably going to be our main loadout for the other remaining level that I got to do like this is going to be virtually impossible. And then the goddamn boss fights. Every single one of the boss fights relies on the game just behaving for once. If the game decides not to let you, you simply cannot beat any of the boss fights in under the time limit. And then even if you get good RNG, the game is still very hard. You might still not make it. In fact, I say you probably won't get the gold. We'll see how bad it is when I have to do is about to spawn an fucking Iron Maiden again. Juggernaut's in a weird spot. Here's the other thing I wanted. The location of Juggernaut is going to make it nigh impossible to land any hits on it feels a little unfair to me. Definitely gonna get a free spawn. Juggernaut has spawned an enemy. He basically got horrible RNG. Great way to start. And I lost track of it. 
I think it's right below me here. Yeah, there you are. Could use a little bit of hell, if I'm honest. Guess it's still stuck in the goddamn crevice that I can't get to. That's a great spot for help. Okay, Juggernaut's finally out of the sunken area, and it spawned an enemy. Excellent job sandbagging, Juggernaut. Bravo. Well, now we make the survivors pay to the best of our ability. And our abilities happen to be Pretty great. We just sort of go back and forth along this street and let the enemies hit us. This means they can simply choose not to hit us and waste our time. We've committed no murders yet, except our own. I wanted to make one more pass before I hit the garage and switched out for a new juggernaut. Little too aggressive. I wanted to dramatically increase the number of songs I have in my soundtrack because I found two additional game series that have great soundtracks specifically for the purposes that I need them. But I didn't get around to it. Juggling a lot of shit all at once. All the time. Forever. So far, this is going perfectly. Just need to find Juggernaut. Reaper's around, so Reaper is a very, very, very easy kill. So easy that I might be able to do it with this vehicle. Oh, damn it. Oh, I hate the special of this thing. So now I gotta drive a helicopter under bridges and shit. enemies exist, which is kind of odd to me. Because we had five enemies last time, and it was because I had let the Juggernaut spawn twice. This time it definitely only spawned once, and... Uh, I still got five enemies here. I 
I saw additional mega guns around here somewhere. There they are. So that might kill an extra couple of opponents. Very quickly and easily. Best of all, it gets rid of Sweet Tooth, who is such an asshole. If you're in a car, he'll just fly away forever. Now he's screwed. Reaper, coming for ya. And I got you, surprisingly. Trying to take advantage of the disparity in our maneuverability. And he finally managed to do so. There's so little left of it. There we go. Three to destroy. Three opponents left. Now the big guns. No, we only have until slightly after the seven minute mark. Finish this. Maybe the exact seven minute mark. I don't know yet. Crimson Fury. It is suicide to crash into me, so. That only benefits us. trying to lead me off the road. I can't off-road in this thing. Another one down. One minute remains, eh? One opponent remains. I'm the only one thinking in terms of time here. That is definitely a gold medal. Oh yeah, by a huge margin. Persistence pays off. Now, what if it was twice as hard? Wouldn't the world be a better place if that were the case? Oh, why am I back in this goddamn level? Never gonna play this level again in my life. Not on Twisted Difficulty. Probably on Normal, because this is... One of the very few Twisted Metal games that exists, so... I'm stuck with it. For the rest of my days. There's the last level I need to beat. Don't even want to go in there. But it's still better than going against the bosses, so... Here we go. It looked like in the OBS preview that I was dropping frames, but I forgot. The PS3 is just like that. Especially this game. This game is way more technically... Uh, well, really, it's way more poorly optimized than this uh, console can handle. Burned out my damn Blu-ray drive. I'll never forgive it. Need to remember where the mega guns are again. It's one of this pits. Construction pit over here somewhere. Apparently, I was thinking of a health refill, not a mega gun. Oh, wait, there's both. 
I will do this one to the best of my ability very slowly because even completing this particular mission is a miracle. And then we'll probably just give up on uh, the Warthog Grind. If I've at least completed this level once. Even in the incredibly unlikely scenario that that completion is a uh, gold medal. Frozen for a long time. I spotted both juggernauts while I was looking for mega guns. Now I can't find either. They were headed down the big road. Which means by now they would be over here somewhere. Tons of mega gun pickups. I've seen five so far. There's a guy. Wanted to crash through that neon sign. You know, it probably would have killed me. Thank you. Juggernaut destroyed. Six opponents left. The driver killed. Extra health awarded. Now I need one more mega gun pickup. And to spend less time frozen. <laughs> I had to say something about getting frozen. This one back? Uh, of course not. I think if I land every single shot from a mega gun, it kills a juggernaut outright. But that is very unlikely. Where might Juggernaut be? Not on either of the main roads right now. Hiding the location of Juggernaut is such a pain in the ass move. And really the only reason to do it is to screw over people with gold medal hunting. That unfortunately is me right now. So I thoroughly screwed over. We're closing in on the enemy cap. I think after eight enemies, the juggernauts just stop spawning. Trying to see if I can recognize the background that the little window shows me. Let's see, was that Juggernaut? No, not even slightly. It looked like it was trolling through these streets when it spawned the last enemy a couple seconds ago. Is about to spawn an enemy. It is ridiculously impossible to get a gold medal at this point. It's an absolute joke. I don't know where the hell this juggernaut is. I haven't. There it is. Juggernaut has spawned an enemy. 
went way, way, way too long without seeing it. Five minutes without seeing my target. And it's pretty much unanimously agreed that Warthog is the worst vehicle in this game. Not even for how hard it is to unlock, just... It's bad. Its mobility is atrocious. And you have to get right on top of an enemy to use your special. Welcome to Diesel. So it's just a great big hunk of junk. That is zero fun to play as. This is actually a great spawn point. Because it fills up our mega guns immediately. But it amounts to nothing if I can't find Juggernaut quickly. Juggernaut is about to spawn a new enemy. There's one. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I definitely can't magnetize this thing. Oh, bolt the juggernauts right on top of me. In some ways, this is good. In other ways, it kills me immediately. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. A good spawn point for me, terrible spawn point for the Juggernauts. I believe I once had a practice run of this where I killed both Juggernauts before they spawned any vehicles. This is not repeatable. <laughs> but something of the sort happened once. Maybe they got one vehicle squeezed out, but... My recollection is I might have stopped them both. I sort of want to look out for is the sort of missiles that the turrets fire on top of Juggernaut. This Juggernaut spots you before you spot it. That's what you're going to be seeing. Those turrets firing to excess. Alright, once again, haven't even seen the damn thing. There's one. I guess I'll do this. Unfortunately, you can't stack Trigun and Megagun at the same time. Or else Trigun would be the, like, best weapon in the game. Because you can only do one or the other. It sucks. Good spot to kill the next Juggernaut, but it's MIA as usual. I always say that anytime I'm recording, I'm pretty much performing the worst I ever have. All of my worst runs are recorded. Bad RNG, skill issues that I don't normally have during practices. Ooh, hey. Getting somewhere. 
Juggernaut is never going to spawn another enemy. Unless he kills me right now. God damn it. It killed me right now. Well, that was the one criteria where it might theoretically get to spawn another enemy. This is considered by some the hardest level to do in a gold medal run. Welcome to Diesel. Virtually everyone agrees that Iron Maiden is much harder, but some people have struggled more with this. In my attempt to record a playthrough of um, Iron Maiden, on Twisted Difficulty, I couldn't even complete it. I completed it multiple times in practice, but once I started recording, horrible things happened that I'd never even seen before. Didn't even know they were possible. Okay, two Juggernauts is bad. Being frozen is bad. Just gonna take the L on that one. My lock on wasn't working. Significant progress. Took more resources than I expected. Apparently, I'm not allowed to pick up items when I am frozen. Why will you not pick up the help? Please get the help. <laughs> Juggernaut was headed this way. Now it should actually be coming around. It's a health refill thing, but there's Juggernaut. For some reason, Juggernaut just stopped in the middle of the road for a while. Gave me a small opportunity to make it out. Someone shooting a shotgun out of a helicopter and into a grounded vehicle is pretty goddamn impressive. Our gunner did it. The unnamed brother Grim that no one talks about. So mega guns are so devastating that I'm going to try. Killing some enemies with them. Instead of Juggernaut, see if it's faster. Roadkill went underground. Not killing him anytime soon. Junkyard Dog also went to sleep. That was something. Damn it! Always frozen at inopportune times. Alright. Juggernaut time. 
Hope it's not too late. Jimmy and Jimmy Grimm, I like that. <laughs> the double dragons, Grimhood. Uh-oh. Vehicle caught on nothing. Love to see it. I can really only stay on the highway if I'm going to drive this thing. Right, I can't do anything with all these tiny, tiny ledges around. Roadkill just begging to be one shot here. Three opponents left with five minutes, or after five minutes, is quite good. But I don't know how tight the time limit is. I guess I'll take some Mega Guns on uh, Juggernaut. Couldn't hurt. How obedient to the enemies feel? They're sort of stacking up behind me here. Can I get at them? Yeah, Robo thought he was sneaky. Destroyed. Two Outlaws are ruining my life. Being a real bastard back there. But aren't they all? This should make him rethink a lot of life decisions. I don't know where the hell he is. There. He was so tight on my bumper, I literally couldn't even see him. I thought Death Warren was almost killed from Mega Guns. Now he appears to be back at full health. Okay, he's right behind me. I've seen enemies make this mistake before. Was that fast enough? Let's see. It was much faster than my last attempt. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that was a miserable eight minutes. At least there's that. Let's run it again. Once I complete this, I will have every level except the bosses bolted. Oh, the bosses. Oh, I gotta do all the juggernauts again. And I'm juggernaut. In a bizarre programming choice. If you reset, the game takes the vehicle you already had. And puts you in control of that one. Even if it's very much different from the one that's at the beginning of your garage roster. 
Hey, Shadow's here. Throwing corpses at me. So we take out this asshole. I don't have 46 seconds to spare. Because if my last run had been 46 seconds faster, it would have been a gold medal. And I wouldn't have to do it again. I'm obviously going to wrap this up soon and then switch to speedruns, which are going to be every bit as frustrating. Possibly more so. Welcome to Diesel City. Well, we got good twisted metal music at least. It is fitting. Perhaps too fitting for this game to be worthy of it. Wow. That was some good RNG. I think I landed some, like, critical hits. Oh god, you're kidding me. And this is the best RNG, like, possible. I think... Yeah, they didn't spawn a single vehicle. That mythical thing that I described happening in a practice run just happened. So much for bad streaming RNG. Maybe I ought to stream more often. So now I'm miles ahead of where I need to be. Sweet Tooth's here, so Sweet Tooth's gotta get gunned down. is proving difficult. We're gonna freeze off. Trying to kill Sweet Tooth as Juggernaut would take hours, so that would ruin the perfection I've been dealt here. He's dying, he's dying, he's dead. There's another mega gun around here somewhere. Would kill another person for me. If I can find it. Reaper is here too? This is unbelievable. I would never have dreamed of having Reaper here to get destroyed so rapidly. Oh, he's going underground, though. He'll come back. He always comes back. I saw his little icon. He was running around here somewhere. I think I have both of these mega guns already. Yep. Uh oh, junkyard dog. It's trying to go underground, I think. Can't have that. Junkyard dog destroy. One, enemy remains. One enemy left, and it's just Grim. I can see him on the map. I mean, it's not Grim. I'm Grim. It's merely Grim's vehicle. 
being put to some perverse use to try and defeat its own master. How dare you, dollface. Just gonna hang on under a bridge so I can't get to you. There's something to be said for that being a valid strategy, I admit. Rim is pretty fast, but he's pretty dead as well. And if that ain't a gold, <laughs> golds are literally impossible, so... Yeah, that's obviously a gold that risks being a world record, although I doubt it. Yeah, that was about half the time that my first successful completion of this took, and it could have been another, like, two minutes shorter if I'd gotten even luckier, but... We'll, uh, take that. Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth there. And that means only bosses remain. So, fuck the Warthog grind for a while. I'm doing something else. These are even more RNG than the level we just went through by a wide, wide margin gonna take a lot more practice and a lot more patience but that's a good sign we might someday get warthog i don't even want warthog but bragging rights <laughs>